Hey gang, inside of Clifford. I got a head scratcher. And uh, Zippo's reaching out for a little bit of help. Um, uh, I've got a ground fault. I do know that much. As you can see, stereo's on. I've just got the key turned back to accessory. And it does this uh, with the truck running and with it off. And uh, there, you'll see there's an obvious, very noticeable, quick drop that resets the stereo when I turn my headlights on. If anybody has uh, had this similar symptom, I'd appreciate it uh, if you could let me know in the comments what you found. I've uh, been through quite a bit of the uh, electrical system so far, and I may call it lazy, but I'm tired of tearing things apart. Um, but as soon as I touch the headlight switch, watch what the stereo does. So, and again, so you saw both ends of it. Now I've had the dash completely apart. Uh, I've gone through and checked the wiring and apparently the stereo is using the uh, yellow power supply off of the headlights but it's in the stock wiring for the stereo so apparently they share uh, the ground um, I know I said yellow is the hot wire and it is um, but it's just a head scratcher so if anybody out there happens to know what that little anomaly is <clears throat> I'd appreciate a uh, some feedback on it now this is the 11th of this body style truck I've had and I've never had this issue before now mind you this truck sat for oh, years uh, with having very little mileage put on it um, so my guess is I've got you know a, a connection that's a little bit corroded that I need to pull off you know and I've been as I pull things off I am putting a dielectric grease on all the connectors when I plug things back in so I you know, apparently I've just so far missed whatever it is that's causing it and it's a relatively new symptom um, I had had done nothing to the truck for about a week week and a half and then it started doing this um, and just a quick list of what I have done to the truck and what has recently been done to the trucks got new uh, brakes rotors calipers even a new emergency parking brake cable new back brakes new water pump new starter uh, uh, just uh, new uh, flexible brake lines um, just a, a lot of new parts have been put on the truck uh, in, in recent times within uh, well 500 miles were put on the truck in the three years prior to me getting it and so all that work was done within that 500 miles um, I've gone into the hood I have pulled uh, all the grounds off, clean their surfaces, put them back in, did the drop test with my multimeter where I've got it connected to the battery and to the uh, ground on the engine, start the engine, no noticeable drop in voltage uh, at, at all. Um, just I, I, I've gone through, I've exhausted everything under the hood so I know everything under the hood is good um, and then uh, behind the dash um, like I say I've pulled everything off here and put dielectric grease on it all and put it all back together so my guess is is that somewhere and I even pulled the glove back glove box out disconnected the computer reconnected after uh, cleaning the terminals and putting just a tiny dab of uh, dielectric on each of the input pins 
um, just uh, you know pretty much everything that I know and uh, have done in the past um, but this is a new one on me like I say 11 of this body style and this is the first time I've had this uh, unusual ground fault so like I say if anybody has uh, any kind of a uh, inclination as to what's going on leave it in the comments for me Zippo reaching out for a little bit of help thanks later hey gang Zippo this is a quick little uh, tack on to the end of the help video for my 92 GMC Sierra um, that's having the little electrical ground fault issue um, after I shot the video I was going through the owner's manual again uh, just getting some stuff organized, pulling my receipts out to, to put in a file and I found something that I didn't see before which kind of put into perspective how long this truck had gone without being driven um, when I got the truck it had 122,952 miles on it what I found was an oil change ticket. You can see from this oil change ticket, the due date 3-18 of 2010. Mileage 122,802. So in five years, very few miles were put on this truck. Very, very few miles. And uh, sure as many of us know uh, when something sits you're going to have gremlins that are going to pop up when you start putting the vehicle back into service and so uh, again anybody who has had any kind of uh, an issue similar to mine with a ground fault uh, the location of your ground fault uh, would be very helpful to me um, so to put it into perspective since you know I'm assuming you know this was when the due date was so three months prior to this would have been 1218 of 10 would have been about when the oil change was done uh, there's no actual date of service on this little uh, oil change tag <coughs> but um, the truck currently has 123,740 miles on it. Now, mind you, I've put 800 of those miles on there <coughs> since I've had the truck. Um, it's only a total of 938 miles in five years. Ballpark. 938 miles in five years. Probably a little bit more mileage than that obviously because they were giving you 3,000 miles here between oil changes so but still very very few miles in the last five years um, five and a half years I guess we should say since 318 and we're now in August so again if anybody has uh, any kind of a uh, of an idea of what they think it might be that's causing the silly little ground short fault what ground wires I might look at uh, what components I may look at it may be the computer has a ground fault you know I don't know it's only in the headlight switch and it only affects the um, courtesy lights and stereo so that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, also, um, I have just a slight, uh, I don't know what to call it, but uh, with the engine running uh, and the doors open or the courtesy lights turned on, just a slight elevation where you can see the courtesy lights bright and dim, bright and dim. The headlights don't do that. Just the courtesy lights bright dim bright dim bright dim just real real quick fluttering back and forth uh, newer battery alternator is putting out 14 plus volts when charging so there you go
That's what you got. Let me know what you guys got. Ms. Zippo. I'm out.